This is Wabi World Cup Daily. Hello and welcome to Rugby World Cup Daily where we love all of your feedback. Thank you so much for everyone's tweets, for using that hashtag RWC 2019 and for getting involved in the comments. We're at a very busy shrine out here in Tokyo. It's a match free day, which sounds like a good thing, but it's not. But we are here for you. First up, we're taking a bit of a detour into the Uruguayan camp. Interesting thing I've learned while here is that there are actually a few Japanese words that also sound like Spanish words. So we quizzed some Uruguayan players on whether they can figure out what these words mean in Japanese. The right answer is A. Gracias. 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 Oh, 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 the right answer is she. Knife. Bravo! Shadio, fil único. Baka. Glass. Stupid. Pau. The right answer is B. Stupid. Dale. To the Welsh 22. James O'Connor. First little glimpse of him. First little glimpse of him. Samuel Karevi. Liam Williams is there. He's good. Karevi slightly on his own for the moment. There's an advantage for Australia. The kick, 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 kick by Bernard Foley. Adam Ashley Cooper. So the most capped wallaby ever, George Gregan, was actually born in Lusaka, in Zambia. So he's also African like me, although he's actually Australian. And we have some more entirely useless facts about the guy coming away now. Is fish, chips, cup of tea, bad food, worse weather, Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Spider-Man. I like how you could like, spin the web and swing from building to building. That's a pretty cool superpower. Losing to South Africa at... <laughs> you knew the answer to that in Cape Town. Eustace is going to kill you, Gregan. <laughs> That's my first memories of going to South Africa. A cricket bat made by my grandfather. Japanese food. Sushi is incredible in Japan. Dennis Farina, out of uh, Lock, Stock, Two Smoking Barrels. It's fish, chips, cup of tea, bad food, worse weather, Mary Poppins. Oh, I had a crush on uh, the lead singer for ABBA. Yeah, the blondie, not the dark haired one. <laughs> I, I can probably dig my toes in and I won't move on certain things. It takes a while to get me there, but then I'm probably immovable. 
I was a massive police fan, so it would have been Outlandis the Moor and then Regatta de Blanc. I got all of them. Giant steps are what you take walking on the moon. Sorry, Sting. <laughs> I've just butchered your song. I'll go with Alan Finnegan. He's the sort of guy who be setting Rod McQueen a wake up call at 6 30 a.m. first week of tour when everyone's struggling to sleep. He'd sort of go to the reception and say, no, no, as much as he doesn't want it, he, he actually he really needs it because he's our coach. So poor old Rod McQueen. <laughs> He'd get woken up early. <laughs> the best thing about Scotland at a rugby world cup has been the bad pipes. Where Scotland goes, the bad pipes will follow. Thank you so much to Takashi Takimoto who gets to feature on the social media roundup for two reasons, the good bagpipe video, and then all of the cat photos on your account. Such a gorgeous kitty cat. But the, the bagpipe video is also cool. I don't know if I should be concerned about the number of open seats around the bagpipe. Is it because everyone's just taking a photo or don't they like bagpipes here? Oliver Burt shared the cutest video of a kid in the Ramsey Pipe Band Osaka, Japan. And this kid's got the beat down. What wasn't really musical was the way Greg Laidlaw bounced. Tim Nanai Williams. Ooh, Robert Reese posting this video of it saying getting bounced off by a scrum off. He'll never be allowed to forget that courtesy of his teammate. This guy was all over the feed last night and I loved it. When your boss sees you trying to sneak out of work at 5.25. Good game, IT. He does look scary. Oh, the YMCA was there. What? Autry featuring again. Shout out to Autry on Instagram. More in the hips, guys. More in the hips. We need more hip action on the YMCA. Everyone loves a bagpipe, but you know what we love more? The rugby players playing piano. Namibia has a few guys taking a stab at... Jackman thought he was going to break the internet with a good luck video to the Wallabies. Go Wallabies. Go Wallabies. Go Wallabies. Go Wallabies. You guys are going to crush it. Then the guy from the Rugby World Cup Twitter account thought he was going to break the internet by animating the thing in. Go Wallabies. Go Wallabies. Go Wallabies. One out of ten. Tokyo. Um. <laughs> what type of question is that? What is Tokyo called? Oh no. Uh, what is Tokyo called before it's just called Tokyo? Yeah, no idea. Oh, I couldn't tell you that. Uh, no idea. Sushi? I don't know. One for Will Greenwood, that. Edo. A few of you have spotted a trend, and that is that when I wear a team's jersey, they lose. First it was South Africa, then it was Ireland, then it was Uruguay. So, if this is in fact a curse, which team would you like me to curse next by wearing their jersey? Let us know in the comments section, and we'll be back with more Rugby World Cup Daily tomorrow. It's not easy being green. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. When I think it might be nicer in red or yellow or gold or something much more powerful. The 84th minute the try was scored. It's not easy being green. Lafayette, it's going to be the try for the new player.